Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about Shopify authorizes NFTs for sale on their platform and how stoner NFTs could change event ticketing forever. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to your favorite channel on YouTube. Shout out to all the subscribers. Okay, let's jump over to the agenda. We're talking about how stone cat NFTs could change event ticketing forever and why Shopify approved NFT sales. Okay, this is the big news that's hitting the crypto scene right now. Let's jump over to a tweet. And we're talking about the Stoner Cats NFTs. So I want to just give you some general feedback. Um, This is the official Twitter profile from the Stoner Cats. Here's a tweet here from Decrypt. And they're talking about the NFT series that's starring Myla Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, and Ethereum's own Vitalik. Here's a tweet that talks about the role Vitalik will be playing. He will be voicing one of Myla Kunis' NFT stoner cat characters in this series. Okay, so let's jump over to a article. Here's a little bit more about it where Vitalik is actually going to contribute the proceeds from this to charity. And it's going to the Sins Foundation Um, So that is a good development. Let's jump over to the articles talking about this story uh, right now. Coin Telegraph NFT animation stoner cat preps for launch. And this article from Forbes is very interesting um, as it's talking about how the stoner cats is the first ever nft television show and that is really the angle i wanted to bring to your attention this stoner cats nft is going to change the way that premium events are going to be handled because people are going to want to have some type of memorable uh thing that they can connect to their favorite show or their favorite event let's check out this report here from Turner Wright, uh, NFT animation Stoner Cats preps for launch following delay. This was a report earlier today. A cat themed animated series featuring prominent entertainers and personalities from the crypto space is reportedly back on schedule after an unexpected delay. Stoner Cats is an NFT series launched by actress Myla Kunis in partnership with Crypto Kitties co-founder Mac Flavel, Crypto Poops, NFT creator Jonathan Howard and others though their recent endeavor Big Head Club okay all right so they're talking about the launch here's a quote um, people's time is the most valuable thing they have and we took their time so I totally understand their frustration uh, there was some delays um, Many crypto users were seemingly frustrated with the delay, with some in Europe and Asia reporting they had stayed up late due to time zone differences for the project that failed to mint. So there was some frustration building up for anticipation of this release. Um, And here's a statement from Kutcher. The actor said, anyone who's holding the NFT fundamentally has their own theater. They are the owner of the ticket kiosk. For the future. And this is what I wanted you to remember from this post. This is the thing to remember from the Stoner Cats. This is going to change the way, especially premium events, are going to be handled in the future. So let's take a look at some other coverage. And you can see this is something that's been discussed even back in the spring. And so now the release is here. The news is really taking off. What I want to do now is jump over actually 
to a little more detail. Here's a report from The Street, Ashton Kutcher, Myla, Myla Kunis, and Vitalik. And they're talking about how these are three people I had not expected to put together a headline. Nevertheless, the three, along with Family Guy creator Seth McFarlane, legendary comedian Chris Rock, and famous actress Jane Fonda will be voicing characters in an upcoming animated show called Stoner Cats. The series will follow six cats who became high after Jane Fonda's character falls asleep from smoking weed causes her to drop joints in the, in the home fireplace. Smoke then fills the room getting the cats high and from there adventure begins. So this is the premise for this show. It's got everybody interested and people were very interested. I'm going to jump around to some to the actual here's the official stoner cat website stonercats.com and you could buy a cat but the problem is when you click on it you're going to find out it's sold out but before we do that let's take a look at the cast of the show Vitalik as Lord Katsington Myla Kunis as Fifi Ashton Kutcher as Baxter Seth McFarlane as Dave the Free Spirit, Chris Rock as Hamilton, and Jane Fonda, Miss Stoner, the Patriarch. <laughs> okay, so if you wanted to go ahead and, and get involved with this, you'd have to buy your own token, and that's where the challenge will come in. If you click here, get your own token, you will realize it's sold out. Completely sold out out and this NFT was offered on OpenSea so we can jump over to OpenSea and get a little bit more information on these NFTs so far OpenSea has been my favorite NFT platform and you can see their account page here so let's take a look at any of the actual NFTs there's a stoner cat that's going for 0.6 of an ETH. This one went for one ETH, so this is about $2,300 right now. $2,281 is the current price. So I just want to show you a few of these NFTs. These are the types of items that themselves don't seem to be very valuable, but when you match this up with a memory, and the circumstance in life, people put a big value on it. This one's going for three and a half. This is almost eight thousand dollars. Three and a half ETH. Okay. Just wanted to give you an idea of the types of valuable NFTs that are there, and then we're going to jump to the second part of this report, talking a little bit more about what's happening in the NFT world. So these are the hot. NFTs right now they're not super hot because they're only going for two or three ETH, uh, you know, as compared to the crypto punks that are going for over a hundred thousand dollars. So this is still important. However, I believe that the mechanism that they're using will be duplicated in the future, and you will see more and more. This is this one's five ETH, so this is probably the most expensive one that I've seen. The black cat, eleven thousand. It's about you're gonna have to come off five ETH to get this one. Would you would you spend five ETH on this guy? It could be an investment. Let's see what the history of it is. So here's some offers, but I don't see any price history. I don't see that it's been traded very much. Let's see the trading history. Let's jump down here just for a good example. So somebody listed it for five ETH and they got a bunch of lowball offers. So that doesn't give you the impression that the value of these NFTs is through the roof. Um, there is some demand for them, but not the demand that's causing people who already purchased them to be able to cash out and and uh, for profit. So maybe in the future it'll be worth much more. Okay, so let's jump over. Let's continue to the 
other these are the other characters and so now what I want to do is let's jump back to the other piece of the NFT story before I get to the stoner cat video I'm gonna show that in the end but speaking now that you got an idea of what the NFTs are I want you to look at the next story from Shopify where they are now going to authorize merchants to sell NFTs directly through their storefront. Now this is very interesting because Shopify is a traditional platform for e-commerce and now they're going to make it possible and here's the article Shopify has made it possible for eligible sellers to sell NFTs non-fungible tokens via its platform which opens up a whole new world for e-commerce merchants on Monday the NBA's Chicago Bulls launched its first ever NFTs including digital artwork of bull championship rings by launching an online store on Shopify instead of having to go to an NFT marketplace Bulls fans can now purchase the digital art directly with the team's online store using credit or debit card. In its first day of making them available, the NBA team sold out of the NFTs within just 90 seconds. Here's a quote. You could buy NFTs on credit cards before, but honestly, the NFT buying experience outside Shopify isn't awesome for anyone right now. Is that a shot at OpenSea? That's what he told TechCrunch. That's why we decided to do this work. Merchants and buyers shouldn't have to take a course in crypto to buy things they care about. Boom! You talking about shots fired. Now, I have heard people having some frustration using uh, trying to get the NFT thing going. So that's actually a great point. Let's take a look at the NFT Chicago Bulls store. So this is the first NFT Shopify store so they're selling NFTs on a platform that is not crypto related so this is very interesting this is an important development and so you can check out this site basically they give you an opportunity to put your contact information in so let's take a look at this NFT can we can we get a closer view here are the actual rings but I don't know. Okay, so let's let's view the NFT. Okay, let's take a look. This is the Chicago Bulls NFT. Let's take a look at what it does. Now they got a Texas up there. Why do they have a Texas up there? It's supposed to be Chicago. There's the Chicago Bulls championship ring. Um, oh, this is the first championship and they're they got the stats for the game up there the the number of games so this is kind of like a video NFT let's see if I can skip to another one so these are the NFTs and you can buy these without having to go through OpenSea or some other I don't know why they keep putting Texas up there Somebody post in the comments why you think they keep putting Texas. So is this the second year? Let's see if this is the second title. This is this may be another year. So these are the Chicago Bulls NFTs. Let me know what you think about it. Okay. And uh, post in the comments. I am actually more so impressed with this innovation and um, to see the Chicago Bulls interact with their fans and get this sold out so quickly was very impressive for me. Okay, now I want to jump over to the market. We're just going to take a look a little bit at where Ethereum is going since we're talking NFTs. NFTs are a function of Ethereum. So we may as well take a look and see where the Ethereum price is going. It was up as high as 2300, crashed all the way down, or it just went small dip down to 22, and now it's on its way back up. It's over 2300 right now. So things are looking good right now for Ethereum. 
A week ago it was at, it was at $1,773. So things are looking on the up and up. A month ago, it is higher than it was by 16%. So that's the way things are looking for ETH. Okay, post in the comments your favorite NFTs. Make sure you remember to subscribe. Shout out to all the subscribers. Click the subscribe button. That's all you got to do. And boom, you're subscribed. I want to thank you for liking this video. If you don't like this video, make sure you check out all my other videos. You're surely to find one you like. If you watch all the videos and you don't like none, share the videos with somebody who will. Until the next time, peace.